Happy Thanksgiving. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And Thanksgiving is one of my very most favorite holidays. Yeah, it's awesome because, you know, you get to be with family and friends and there's all this delicious food and you spend a whole day thinking about all the things that you are thankful for. And there's a lot of things to be thankful for, but my least favorite thing about Thanksgiving is we always, we always go around the table and everybody has to say what they're thankful for this year. And every time it comes to me, I'm always drawing a blank. I can never think of what to say. And it's not like I'm scared to talk to my family. You know, they're my family. I talk to them all the time. And it's not also not like I don't have things that I'm thankful for. I know I've got lots of things to be thankful for. I just can never think of them in the moment. And I was thinking about that. I was like, you know, why is it so difficult for me to say what I'm thankful for? Well, I'm pretty sure that the reason is because I'm out of practice. You know, the Bible says that we should rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. Basically, that's saying that, that, you know, how on Thanksgiving we spend that day to remember what we're thankful for. That verse is pretty much saying that we should do that all the time. It should be a part of our daily lives to thank God for all the things that he has done for us. Like all the time, every day. Anytime you notice something that God has done for you, thank him for it. It doesn't have to be out loud. God can hear you even if you don't talk out loud. But even just in your head, say, God, thank you for my friends. I had a really good day today. Or even little things, like if you're eating a delicious Twinkie, you can say, Lord God, thank you for Twinkies. And please help me not to eat this whole box. And here's the thing. If we start thanking God for everything that we see, everything that we're grateful for, right when we're grateful for it, and we start looking for things that God has done for us, and we can rejoice and thank God for those things, I bet you'd be surprised at how many things you and I have to be grateful for. And I know it kind of sounds like a chore to be like, oh, I just got to thank God all the time, thank him for this, thank him for that all the time, all the time, all the time. It's not really a chore at all. You know, the next part of the verse where it says, you know, rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. The next part, it says, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. God isn't like demanding that we give thanks all the time for him because he needs us to thank him. God wants us to give thanks all the time because he knows that it's good for us. You know that great feeling that you have on Thanksgiving where you're sitting back and you're thinking about all the awesome things God's done for you? You can have that feeling every day. It can be Thanksgiving every day. I don't care what if it's in the spring or the summer or what. Every day can be Thanksgiving because we can give thanks every day. And I'll bet that if you're thankful every day and you talk to God about what you're grateful for, then when it comes time for you to say your favorite thing that you are thankful for this year at Thanksgiving, you'll totally have an answer. Easy peasy. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would give thanks every day, that you would rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. Not just so that you can have something to say at Thanksgiving dinner, but so that you could live in the fullness of the awesome life that God has called you to.